So in the notes there's an example that uh, you've done already that was cosine 14 degrees. So cosine 14 degrees, you know, gave us a decimal on our calculator. So the question is, are there specific angles on the unit circle where we can get exact values? This is actually what we're going to be talking about next. There's actually three particular angles that we're going to focus on. We're going to start with the 45 degree angle uh, and we're going to take a look at where we have some exact values. So if you draw a 45 degree angle like this and we're talking about the unit circle here so of course we've got a hypotenuse is going to be 1 because that's the the radius just so happens that when you draw it like that you do get exact values here. You get square root of 2 over 2 for both the sides. So because of that when we do sine cosine and tangent of 45 and even these down here we're going to get exact values uh, for that. So for this one, for instance, sine 45, that's referring to the y value at 45 degrees. That would be square root of 2 over 2. In fact, cosines, that would be exactly the same. Square root of 2 over 2 comes again directly from uh, the x value there. Now tangent 45 would be equal to the y value over the x value if we use our definitions and that's root 2 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2. Well that's just going to give us 1 because we're dividing both of them by the same thing. So now that we have these we can use the definitions we talked about to get these down below. These are just going to be the reciprocals of the ones we have above. If you recall the cosecant is 1 divided by y so it would be 1 divided by root 2 over 2, but essentially all that's saying is to flip it. So to get these here, the easiest way to do that is just simply take the reciprocal of both of those. So this would be 2 over root 2, but you don't want to leave your answer like that. You want to rationalize these, and the online homework systems are going to require you to rationalize as well. We're going to multiply top and bottom by whatever you have in the bottom down below here, and you'll get 2 root 2 over... 2 and then the 2's will cancel and it'll leave you with just square root of 2. We can do exactly the same thing. Secant 45, uh, if we take the reciprocal, that's going to give us the same exact answer. So we would go through all those same steps to get us square root of 2. And then finally cotangent 45, the reciprocal of 1 would just be uh, 1. So these would be your exact values for 45. So now let's take a look at 30 degrees. Okay, next we're going to look at 30 degrees. It's another special angle. And so when you have a 30 degree triangle drawn there, uh, you get these special sides. Again, the hypotenuse is still 1 because we're talking about the unit circle, but you've got a uh, x value, square root of 3 over 2, and this is 1 half for the y value. So now we're going to fill out these. Sine 30 degrees is the y value at 30 degrees. That's equal to 1 half. Cosine is your x value at 30 degrees, square root of, two, three, square root of 3 over 2, sorry. Uh, and then tangent 30 is going to be the y value over the x value. So the y value here is 1 half, and we're dividing it by square root of 3 over 2. Now when you divide fractions, same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, so we're going to do 1 half times 2 over root 3. And what that will give us is the twos will cancel. You get one over root three, and then if we rationalize it, we're going to get square root of three over two. So I have to do a little work to get to the answer there. So tangent thirty would be square root of three over three. Let's take a look at cosecant thirty. Cosecant thirty would be the reciprocal of one half, would just be two. Secant of thirty degrees would be the reciprocal of of square root of three over two. So two over root three and we're going to once again we're going to rationalize this 2 root 3 over 3 would be the exact value for secant 30 degrees and then cotangent 30 would be the reciprocal of this. Now I could take the reciprocal of square root of 3 over 3 but it's going to be easier if I use this version of it. If I flip this one over then I don't have to rationalize. I would just get square root of 3. So cotangent 30 degrees would be uh, root 3. So one more look at Let's take a look at 60 degrees. Okay, so here's one more that we have exact values for uh, at 60 degrees. So 60 degrees, the x value is 1 half when we draw the triangle. The y value is square root of 3 over 2. Let's fill these out. So sine 60 is the y value at 60 degrees. That's going to be square root of 3 over 2. Uh, the x value there is going to be 1 half. Uh, for tangent 60, 
That is the y value over the x value. So square root of three over two divided by one half. Same thing as taking square root of three over two and multiplying it by the uh, reciprocal there. So we're gonna multiply it uh, by two over one. The twos are gonna cancel and we get square root of three. So tangent 60 is equal to uh, root three. Next we're gonna do cosecant 60. That's gonna be the reciprocal of sine 60. So we're gonna flip that and we get two over root three. And then if you rationalize it, we did that before, uh, two root three over three. Secant 60, the reciprocal of one half is just gonna be two. And then for cotangent 60, that's going to be the reciprocal of square root of three, which is gonna be one over square root of three, which if you rationalize it, you get square root of three over three. So now that we've taken a look at all three of these special angles, I wanna put all these onto a, a table for you so that way you have it all organized. So I'm gonna put the three that we've talked about, I'm also gonna add the zero and 90 degrees as well, so that way we have all of them basically between zero and 90. So let's take a look at that table next. Okay, so the result, if we take all that we just talked about with those different triangles, put them all on this table, we're gonna get this. So here's a 30, 45, 60 that we first talked about. Here's the equivalent uh, radian measurements for that. And we have sine, cosine, tangent, so I basically just took all that that we did before and organized it for you so you have a table here. So for instance, if you wanna find sine of 30 degrees, for instance, we just go 30 degrees and where the sine come together, we get one half, so that's the exact value there. And of course, you can do that for all the other ones. Now, I've also added the zero and the 90 for you for your reference. Uh, so there is one spot where it's undefined, and that's gonna be right here. So our tangent is equal to the y value over the x value, or also we can think of that as sine over cosine. So if you take one divided by zero, that's why you get undefined here. So this is one way that you can display all this information. What the next video that we're gonna look at is the one where it's gonna combine this together uh, as in like a unit circle. So that's the next video we'll be talking about how you can create the unit circle, but it all comes from these same values that we just derived by looking at those special triangles.